Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Oh, tab centers the, the character, that's pretty cool. I was messing around with the alt key and the tab key so I could see what, what was going on. I wonder, oh, yeah, he doesn't keep centered. But it is night time, and we are currently in Otradnoye. It's got the scale and all that sort of stuff, that's pretty cool. Uh, and we can rest, we could do that. Uh, and we got a few missions for different factions. Uh, we need to find the bunker 317, which is our main objective. And uh, we are going into the village to see if anybody needs some help. And uh, I do know for a fact that some people do need help. And there's quite a few interesting missions in here. I could go and talk to immediately to their leader. That's locked. Okay, let's try and make sure it isn't locked anymore. I failed to break the lock. Come on. There we go. It really sounds like you bro broke the lock because it reads broke the lock, but it's it's you picked the lock. I got some lit nails and a bottle with water. That looks like a plastic bottle to me, though. Hmm. I need to look at my crafting here. Oh, and by the way, this apparently it's it doesn't say that though, but it's because I got the game before um, before the uh, the release version. So for anyone that bought it on early access, you get this thing. I didn't buy it on early access words. Uh, why am I... Was my strength bad? Please don't have my strength bad. What I did is I got the game for free. Thank you so much to the developers who sent the game my way. Uh, so yeah, look at that. We can make a uh, a bag with a bottle of water. That's kind of cool. A broken bottle. Aha, but that's a different bottle, so you can't make it with that. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, so the developer sent me the, the game, and uh, that's how I got it. I didn't say it in the first episode. Uh, maybe I should have. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so... That's that's how I came across. Like, of course, I got links for you in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Oh, we got more. Oh, that's an empty bottle, though. Ooh, they have descriptions and stuff. An empty pre-war bottle. You can get some water into it. Mm-hmm. And vodka as well. Uh, I don't know. Is, is, is vodka pronounced vodka? I've heard some people say vodka, but then again, you know, vodka is a famous and... and, uh, and uh, I'm, t I'm just taking the corn. I maybe shouldn't be taking the corn. Because I think I know who owns it, or who should own it. Ooh, a waste paper. Some old forgotten papers and documents. Now it's used only for hygiene purposes. That's that's a good usage to, for, for old newspapers. Although, honestly, I wouldn't do that. Um, because newspapers are, are used to wipe your butt because they are so ubiquitous. If they weren't such as in a post-apocalyptic world, you probably would want to hang on to them, because it's always good to read something, Something, it's, you know. It's a little bit of a es escapism. But these guys, they have other things to escape from, like all the monsters and de deadly creatures that attack them. Let's have a chat with this fellow over here. Can I... Fur, fur, fur. You see, old man. Do you have a radio? Please don't have a radio. He does have a television. Okay, let's have a chat with him. An old man in his skull cap does what he always does. He opens and closes his toothless mouth, whistling some forgotten melody. That's probably what we heard. Upon seeing you, he squints his eyes at you. Hello there, Shawnee. You want to speak about something? Yeah, just getting to know the locals. Oh, oh the locals. Well, here am I. Uh, or here I am, he says. A uh, local through and through. <laughs> they, they send you to help me out, Shawnee. Uh, not really. What What do you want? Oh, a shame to ask, Sonny. I have this little corn patch at the back of my house. I knew it, because I played the beta version. I'd pick the corn myself, but I'm just too old now. My back is killing me. What harvest could I pick like that? Hmm? The old man gives you a sad sigh. Uh, yeah, sure. Fine, old man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. See you later. And I have a new quest. I'm not gonna steal from him. I'm not really sure if he... I'm not sure how the game behaves on that account for the stealing. Also, it's very dark. I do want to make it day so you can see better. I can see well, but I, I realize that, uh, you know, depends on a bunch of things like lighting settings on your computer or cell phone or whatever you're watching. And, uh, of course, YouTube likes... I see that. What is that? You see this? YouTube likes making things darker. It's in there. I'm not going in there right now. 
but it's got like a little bit of a green when I press alt. Anyway, he's still whistling a metal, a melody. Hey there, Sonny! What news you bring? I, uh... <laughs> he's actually, he's not whistling, he's mum uh, mumbling. Can you hear him? It's very quiet, but he's definitely doing sh 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 Ah, boy. I picked your corn, old man. Oh, a real worker you are. You really helped out an old man. The guy feels his pockets, looks his house over, and finally turns to you with despair in his eyes. Oh, it's just that I don't have any money to pay you. What a shame. I was... You'd think that he'd give me the corn, but he probably needs it. I was a hunter back before, you know. I and always had some money. Not... But now, what a shame. Shame on you, old man. Acted like a true exploiter. I... Actually... Maybe you could look around some more, old man? Everything... Every little thing helps. Uh, it's good to ask this because I know what the reward is the old man does not listen to you finally yes oh it doesn't matter if you ask it or not uh, a smile comes to his face and he slaps his forehead what an old fool I am Shani I was a hunter wasn't I said it myself and I didn't get it wait here Shani and the old man gets on his knees and starts searching under his rickety bed but finally, he pulls out his old shotgun with a smile he hands it to you I never I never really understood why some games... Usually it's JRPGs. Also, well, the, the developers have their influence from wherever they want. It's fine. Uh, but it's usually JRPGs that have, like, either bolded letters or usually in a different color... Uh, like, diff bolded words, I should say, not just the letters. Uh, in different color or something. And it's usually, like, names of people or the items you're getting as rewards. And it's sort of weird. I don't know why that happens. I mean, you know, Japanese has just completely different notations in general uh, from from, uh, from Latin alphabet languages and, and even Russian, I suppose. I think Russian has the same notations like exclamation mark and all that sort of stuff, so I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, that's, that's what it reminds me of. Here, I don't really need it no more. Just to scare away the crows, I suppose. But you might find it useful, so here you go. Thanks a lot, old man. Just what I needed. You take the gun out of the old man's hands and look it over with interest. It's an old hunting car carbine. On uh, its wooden stock is an engraving, a heart pierced by an arrow. And I go away, and I have an old hunting rifle. Heck yeah, I do. Does it have ammo, though? How do I unload it? Can't unload it from here. Okay, I can if I click here. Good can reload, but I don't have ammo for it. There's no ammo. With ellipses at the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'll save because I want to see what he does when I do this. And he doesn't do anything, so I'll take all of his waste paper. Oh! No, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that. First time I'm loading the game. Let's do it. So, oh yeah. you, you When you save the game, there's no way to name the save. I don't know if they, they will do that. Also, I probably should... Uh, can I look? Yeah, there's no key binding. There's no setting for that. So. Suppose quick save. Right there. And the loading screen's all looking awesome. So I shouldn't take their st take his stuff. Lesson learned. Thank you, old man. No problem, Shani. Okay, off we go. Uh, where? What is this house? It, somebody lives in there. Ooh, sneaks. Okay, how do I sneak? Hunger, that's not a sneak. What is this thing? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's better than right-clicking, then. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. This, okay, that's cool. What is this? That's the options. This is the character screen. Did I level up or get, get any? No? Did, I wonder if there's going to be levels. There are going to be levels. Because this is a game where you could just gain skill points without having to change the system. But, uh, Inspiration Fallout. Full on with that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what I want to do is I want to sneak. So how do I sneak? One, through and three... Uh, numbers don't do that. How do I do that? Shift? No, control. Oh, don't punch. Okay, that's good. 0% chance to hit the 
floor, and I missed. I'm very good at this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure. I'm just trying to figure out how to sneak because I don't know. Maybe it's uh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's automatically checked. Ooh, that's weird. And good. No, it's bad. What? Don't go back there. Come in here. Get the stuff. There it is. And we have herbal mix. A mix of some questionable herbs. Yeah, you can <laughs> make tea from it. Can you, actually? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, sure. Uh, and we got a, a, a hat. No, not a hat. Well, it is. It's a, a, a babushka scarf. Serves to protect the head and face from the sun, sand, and cold wind. It does. And I don't have it on my head. Okay, let's actually switch the weapons. Oh, we go for the boot. Okay, let's not. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's a radio. Please don't do that. You take a compact ca cassette. Right there. The production of compact cassettes in the USSR was started in 1960, or in the 1960s, in Tallinn. Can I do anything with it? Not really. What about the other thing? There's another thing. A soap. Good. You can't tell if this soap is pre-war or modern. And maybe because they, it all looked the same and you wouldn't be able to tell anyway. It's just mostly nitrate thing or whatever. So let's go over here to the... I don't remember what X is. And I don't remember what this is. It's an R. It's a B. It's a I. Is that an... What was... I don't... What? Hmm? I don't know anything. I am very bad at this. Hey! How's it going, old friend? Oh, look, I do have a thing in my head. Oh, it's got a, a heart in it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's the best. Oh, maybe I had it already. Let's try and remove this and see if it... Oh, yeah. This this one. Love it. And there she is. Let's have a chat with this guy. Before you stands a plump, red-faced man. Oh, he did not look... I don't remember him looking like this when, uh, in, the, in the beta version or in the 0.5 version. I like that. Like it's a cool portrait. Uh, Red-faced man, aged around 25. He's wearing a white shirt and uh, yeah, with the the the, the S -S -S -R. Is that how it goes in English? Is that is it as U S no U S S R? Yeah, that's right. Uh, logo in there. It's not logo. What is it? I don't even know. Anyway, he's wearing a white shirt and some rather short shorts. Ah, they could be shorter. He has a well-kept, he does, a well-kept beard, and his hands, in his hands, there's a clean towel he uses to swat annoying flies. Also clean the, the bar the stand. Upon seeing you, the man gives you a wide smile. Oh, a customer. Welcome to the tavern. You travelers sure keep on coming. What do you mean? Well, you're here right now. And not long ago, a band of armed people came through the village. People with guns usually mean trouble around these parts, but... They were pretty civil, just like real army men. Oh, can, can you tell me more? No, not much to tell. They weren't chatty. Our village head, that's an important position because you can see it's capitalized. It's, it's the village head. Maybe I, that's the one I was saying. I could go to the leader. That's the guy. I think it's a guy. Anyway, uh, wanted to speak to them about some issue, but they just left. So I don't think he struck any deal with them. They talked to our gar uh, gate guard more than to any more than to anyone else. His name is yeah Ian. Ian, yeah. If you're interested in knowing about those guys, I suggest you speak to him. Yeah. Anyway, maybe you need a drink or some food. Uh, no, I need jobs. Do you, do you, do you might need me f some for some. Oh, you know, you better talk to my sister about that. I'm a simple-minded guy myself. I can sell you beer. I can sell you spirits. That I'd do gladly. Is something done around the house? A light bulb screwed or a chair fixed, for example? Just give me a call. Some serious stuff is for Katya's ears. She's the pro uh, proactive one. Do people really need help with a screwing a light bulb? I mean, I, I, I'm the son of a, an electrician. Like a house electrician. Somebody that makes house like electrical installations and stuff. So I never really had any issue with that. I know how a lamp works. I know how it gets screwed. And I know that some fit in some places and others don't. And it's all, yeah. It seems simple. But that's like the, the stereotypical thing that people go to and I need somebody to, uh, to screw up this lamp or whatever. I mean, I suppose maybe it depends on, you know, the fixtures and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, if it's a, a simple open fixture where you can actually see the lamp, it's pretty simple. You turn it off and you screw it. It's, you know, it's easiest thing ever. Anyway, 
Let me know in the comments if you have any, uh, have any say on this. Uh, he looks at the young lady over there, yes, who seems to be lost in some calculations. Uh, just as she's pretty busy right now, telling the expenses, planning the budget, you know, and when Katya is busy, it's honestly pretty hard to get her attention. Oh, but I just thought of something. You know what she loves? Making all sorts of potions, tinctures and spirits, that's what. Can't really understand why, but she's quite into all that chemistry stuff. Come up to her and tell her that I sent you to try out her latest tincture. That way you'll get a free drink. Also, a, another bonus that you'll see in a little bit. Uh, and also get to chat with her about stuff. Sly, huh? Pretty clever, but thanks. Indeed. Uh, thanks for the advice. I, um... Can I ask you some questions first, though? Oh, a pleasure. Ask away. Uh, how... So, how do you like working around here? Oh, not too bad. Great, even. Yeah, it's pretty great. Simple job, but well respected by the people. For obvious reasons. It... If there's a party of some sort, if there's a celebration due, or maybe even a burial, or simply a day off of your job, who's there to pour you a fine glass of your favorite poison? That's me, and that's why I'm liked by the people. He smiles warmly and pats himself on the belly. Ah, uh, and there's money in it too. Yep, me and my sis, we're like, what's he called in the West? Independent and entrepreneurs. Well, she's much more entrepreneurial than me, because she does all the paperwork, but still, yeah, glad you found your calling. Can I ask you some uh, another question? Um, tell me about yourself. Oh, was there to tell? Me and Katya were locals, and we don't go out too much. I don't have anything against that. I, I like it here, working as a bartender. That's my job, and that's Katya's job, is keeping the establishment from falling apart with her accounting skills. See, even now she's sitting over there with some documents, totally ignoring the world around her. That's okay. What would we do without her accounting? I don't even want to think about the job I'd have then. Yeah, well, I think you'd cope, but... I mean... Would he? How... I suppose he would. Uh, I care to ask some more questions. Um, so, uh, how's life out here? How's life? Well, people here are more or less civil. And leaving itself? Well, we don't suffer from hunger or sudden changes. To some, it sounds boring, but I really like it. I actually only ever changed one thing about this place. You actually only ever changed one thing would would ever change one thing or i don't know let's see when we inherited this dining hall oh yeah about this place about this yeah i see what he means uh when we inherited this dining hall i started calling it a tavern instead it's a great word tavern kind of cozy right the old name was uh uh laborer dining hall dash food for workers those are the words of the old world and me and katya we didn't see much of it yeah, I don't know what date it is. We need to look at our uh, notebook or whatever to see what date it is, because uh, I don't know how, uh, how how long after 1986 was it. Uh, this is quite the innovator you are. Can I ask you something else? Uh, so, I heard any good gossip? Uh, you know, this new life we all have, it doesn't just affect us people. Hits some animals pretty hard, too. I heard that in one village not far from here, some boys uncovered an old car in the woods, started messing with it, checking rocks at the, all the windows, and later set it on fire. Right after that, uh, they did it, a huge bear came out of the woods. The boys started running, but he didn't even chase them. Just got inside the car and burned to a crisp along with it. What? <laughs> that's... C that's awesome. Uh, ki very interesting. Yeah, tell me more. Some lonesome, lonesome drifter shared a story with me once. Said there was this courier who got attacked by some bandits in the desert, got his goods stolen and his head shot clean through, but he survived. Even after they buried alive, uh, even after being buried alive by those thugs, the locals dug him out and got. Well, it wasn't the locals; it was a robot, but it's okay. The locals dug him out and got him on his feet again. And you know what happened next? Instead of saying thanks to the locals and healing up, the weirdo grabs a gun, puts on a cowboy hat. Not in my playthrough that he didn't, and starts looking for the thugs that shot him. They say the courier fought valiantly, but to no avail. His corpse is probably lying in a ditch somewhere. But what did he expect? A simple courier is no Rambo. How would one person take on a whole gang of violent criminals? It was probably his destiny to get shot by those bandits. First time, they didn't do their job right, but they sure did the second. <laughs> and of course, you might be aware of what that is a reference to. If not, I'm sure the comments will let you know. A, another another gossip. A traveling salesman once told me that in the city of Krasnov, Krasnos Nanmeni, sorry, I will always stumble the, on that one on the first one, there's a religious cult that worships some unknown terror. 
from the deep. And the strangest part is, uh, is that the cult has its own building and is pretty respected around the city. That's a real mystery to me. I know some people worship bizarre things, but isn't that cult a little much even for them? Huh. I heard this rumor about the uh, about the head of the village. It seems he wishes to start growing grapes. Yep. Anytime he's drunk, he starts saying things like uh, along the lines of "Gotta plant me some grapes around the village, some good Italian grapes." Yeah. Uh, well, he says more. He got, gonna make some nice wine. Yes, for the young people, younglings from all around shall gather to have a swig of my popular drink. Yes, sir. I think he's joking when he says that, though. Probably. Well, he's drunk. Probably because there's too. Not, there's not too many young people now, around nowadays. I wish I could follow up on that. Let's see what else he has to say. Last spring, I got a visit from a really bizarre guy. He actually dressed in a grass skirt and a jacket made from raw animal hides, and his nose was pierced with a huge bone. Grampy bones, he said. Hmm. Using gestures and growls, he explained to me, it's not a reference to that, uh, that he came down from faraway mountains, and then in those mountains, there is a whole tribe of people just like him. They live like pre prehistoric ape men. They never trade, they eat what they hunt and grow, and last but not least, they try to stay away from civilized folk. Later, he said that they chose him that they chose him to go out into the world to find the little gardener gardening kit for the needs of tribal agriculture. Oh, that is a reference though, but it's not it's a reference to the main character of Fallout 2. Not oh, I spoiled the reference. I'm sorry. Didn't spoil Fallout 2 though. Don't really know why he'd want, need that kit. It was a really cheap Soviet toy set with a broken shovel and a, a toy set. With a broken shovel and... So they produced it with a broken shovel. And a malfunctioning hoe. Maybe he was interested in the seeds that came with the toy. But they most must all be rotten by now. Anyway, most people have some sort of mental breakdown from time to time. And who am I to question it? Ian simply pointed the tribal in a random direction and he left. Good luck to him on his quest, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, good luck to him. The fat man takes a few more swats at the flies of the towel. Uh, with his towel. Don't say the fat man. He's our friend. Don't don't just reduce him to the size of his belly. He didn't even point. The, it's fine. Um, so yeah, let's see what's on the menu over here. I do have a bunch of crap. Ooh, this crap is really expensive. I like it. Do you like all these bricks? I'll give all you all the bricks because they're pretty heavy. So, do you pay me in rubles? Just do you have? He has cucumber brine. That's not. It's brined cucumber, right? Is that what it is? Pre-war port wine. Huh. <laughs> it's... Is that how it's written? It's port, right? It's not actually port wine. In the USSR, this was uh, a name given to any fortified wine. Yeah, that's... That's... Yeah, that is correct. Um, and actually in Portugal, which is where the port comes from, uh, the people from the city of port... Uh, which produces still, still to this day, uh, they call it a, sp a specific thing that doesn't mean fortified wine, but it's not. It, it's like fine wine. It translates into fine wine, but it's specifically for port. Uh, they don't call it um, port wine, which is what every everybody else on, on the in the country actually calls it. Not just port, port wine, because there's a distinction, of course, because the city is called port, and then you confuse people. Uh, but anyway, uh, pre-war vodka over there. Ah, the rubles. Give me my rubles. 16. Oh, it's all, it's automatically. I wonder if there's a, like a, uh, auto thing. Anyway, sold him some bricks. I better go. Hold on, friend. Maybe you'd like to hear a business proposal first. Of course. Uh, let's hear it. Okay, the matter is pretty simple. Small job, really. Uh, uh, what I need is for you to bring me this book I ordered. It's all the way in Krasnov's Nameni. Abraham, the local bookseller, has it as, at his store. I can't go get it myself because of all the work around the bar. But I can sa see that you travel a lot, so if you ever find yourself in Krasnod's not many. Krasnod's not many. That's the one, yes. Maybe you can pick it up for me. And on your return, I'll compensate you for your trouble. I bet that I can't pronounce it easily because it's probably like a mixture of two words. And, uh... And I'm just, I just I, not knowing what they mean. It's, it's trickier for me to remember them. Yeah, I'll. Uh, it's a deal. No, wait a minute. What's this book about? Oh, that's a cool thing. Yeah, what's this book about? Well, see, there was this writer named Tolkien who, who lived in England, which was a country way back before the war, and he, uh, well, they kind of wrote fairy tales for adults, except they didn't have fairies. You know, I should probably call it science fiction, or not. I'm, I'm not too good with genres. Doesn't matter, the book is about another world. 
Anywho, I always love reading books, especially if they're about something extraordinary, something fantastic. F fantasy, fantasy. And uh, where there's robots and the rings of Saturn and ancient Greek myths and all that kind of stuff. And then I was told that this Abraham in Krasnosna Many can get this Tolkien's book. And with a special translation, too. Anyway, I drove, this, uh, drove to the city and ordered it, but now that it's there, I can't find the time to go back and pick it up. Oh, sure. It's a deal. I'll... If I ever get there, uh, I'll visit Abraham. The man takes your map and marks the city with a cross. Whoa, well, thanks so much. Here, it's a receipt for the book. Just show it to, the, to Abraham and he'll give it to you. Ooh, that's... I, that, that, I was very non-committal there. He shouldn't give me the receipt. Because I said, oh, if I ever go there... And he just... Mm. Anyway, the bartender hands you a small square of thick paper. On it, written in a formidable cursive, are the words, The owner of this document, Rachenko VA, or his legal, Ill illegal proxy, may obtain a copy of... Th the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, translated by Russian or to Russian by Bobby Z. A. after handling or handing over this receipt, signed by Mirkin A. D. Mirkin, I suppose. Is actually the Lord of the Rings the correct name of any of the books written by Tolkien? I wonder. Because I'm pedantic like that. Okay, bye. And there we go, we got quests. Let's, uh, so what do I, oh, I want to see the date. Can I see the date? Maybe I can. Uh, so we have this, there it is. Mm, I can't. So maybe we don't know the date. Hiccups, sorry. We got a lot of quests, though. And uh, we're going to need to talk to Katya. Next episode, though, because we're out of time for the date. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.